Why, Goggle? Why such a long face? Oh, Toggle, you will not be able to help me this time. Tell me what's the matter. Tomorrow is Jusam's birthday. You know, he is one of my closest friends. So I wanted to gift him the books Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on his birthday. So what is the problem? I have searched and searched, but it is not available at any of the bookstores in our neighborhood. <laughs> is that all? Don't worry. I can make many other bookstores appear as if by magic. It is quite likely the book you are looking for is available in one of them. How can you do that, Toggle? <laughs> we can use the internet to search for more bookstores in the neighborhood and we may find a few shops we were not aware of. Okay, can we use the internet to search for a bookstore as well? Sure, Goggle. Not only can you search for a bookstore, but you can also buy a book over the internet through online bookstores. Really, Toggle? I know that both mom and dad use the internet at home as well as in office. Toggle, why is it called the internet? Internet stands for Interconnected Network. It is a huge connection of millions of computers around the world which are capable of sharing information with each other. The internet is used for many different purposes nowadays. The internet can also be called a huge storehouse of information. You just said that the internet is used for many different purposes nowadays. Can you tell me about a few of them? Sure, Goggle. Well, to start with, we can search for information on the internet on any topic we want and pick out exactly what we need. Through the internet, we can send messages to any part of the world within a few seconds. And then, we can chat with friends on the internet. Wow! That's really wonderful, Toggle. That's not all, Goggle. We can buy things over the internet and have them delivered to our homes. So I can buy a book through the internet and it will be delivered to my address. Yes, Goggle. This is known as e-commerce and popularly called online shopping. The internet is such a wonderful facility, Toggle. Tell me, how do we really get connected to the internet? There are two types of internet connections, dial-up and broadband. Oh uh, no, no idea what these are. Dial-up technology and some wired broadband connections use a phone line to connect to the internet. So is that all we need, Toggle? No, we necessarily need to have a modem and an internet service provider or ISP also for it. What is a modem, Toggle? A modem is a device that allows a computer to connect and communicate with other computers. Modem stands for Modulator Demodulator. There are three types of modem connections. They are Cable Modem, Telephone Modem and Wireless Modem. How are they different? A cable modem is a device that helps you connect your computer to a local cable TV line and then allows you to access the internet. And a telephone modem? A telephone modem is a device that helps you connect your computer to a telephone line to access internet services. Got it! And what is a wireless modem? A wireless modem transmits data signals through the air instead of a cable. It is specially designed to work with cell phone networks and wireless local area networks. Where is the modem fitted in a computer toggle? A modem can be an internal modem or an external modem. An internal modem is fitted inside a computer, whereas an external modem is placed outside the computer. Coming back to dial-up connections, it is a very slow method of accessing the internet and it is hardly used in cities nowadays. So, how do we get a faster internet connection? By using a broadband connection. How does it help toggle? Broadband technology enables high-speed internet access through an existing phone line. Actually, a broadband connection can be of three types. Wired broadband, wireless broadband or wireless mobile broadband. Okay, but what does broadband really mean? A broadband is like a highway with many lanes. Data can use any lane to travel. 
This is why broadband is able to provide high speeds it has become known for. Okay, now what is a wired broadband? Wired broadband is a high speed internet service that you can use through wired technology. How does this wired technology work? In this technology, a broadband modem is connected to a phone line through which it receives the internet service. And what is wireless broadband? Wireless broadband service gives you an internet connection without any wires. How can we access the internet without any wires, Toggle? Well, Goggle, in this technology, a wireless broadband modem receives the signals from a phone line or through satellite and then transmits it to a few feet of its surroundings. You know, I have seen people accessing the internet on their laptops while they are travelling. How is that possible? That is possible due to wireless mobile broadband technology. You need a special device called a dongle for that. What is a dongle toggle? Well, a dongle looks very similar to a pen drive. You just plug it in your laptop or desktop and follow the instructions to connect to the internet. I have seen so many people using it. It must be very easy to connect to the internet with a dongle. Yes, Goggle, it is a very flexible medium to get access to the internet and so is very popular amongst internet users. Ok Toggle, now that I know what the internet is, how do I go about getting an internet connection? To get an internet connection, you need a subscription with any internet service provider for which you have to pay a monthly charge. Who provides this service in our city Toggle? There are many such as a PTCL, Nyatel, White Tribe. Look Goggle, I have a dongle. Why don't we connect it to your computer and access the internet? Yes, Toggle, let's do that. First, search the internet for a nearby store that sells the book I need.